Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing Syndra mid lane versus Ari on the PvE. The PvE is a test realm where Riot does changes to things so you can try it out before it reaches live. So firstly, these are still changes uh, being adjusted, but we are going to be playing the new Syndra today. Um, what they did with Syndra is all of her spells are basically the same. It's basically a mini rework. And what they did with uh, Syndra is currently the live version of Syndra is your passive is when you level something up to max rank, aka 5 for basic abilities in 3 points and ultimate for her ultimate, it powers it up. Her Q on live is deals bonus damage, her W deals bonus true damage, her E becomes wider, and her ultimate gains more range. So what they did was that they made it so her uh, passive now is based off of things called splinters. How you get splinters is by last hitting cannon minions, leveling up, or hitting someone with two abilities. And when you get these splinters, that is what powers up your abilities in order of uh, QWER. You don't get to decide, it just automatically does it. Um, you can see that there's a visual showing that there's a splinter to get, but you need a hitter with two spells and only have one, so you actually can't even, you can't even do it during the early game. You need two spells. Uh, but when you do land something with two abilities and you do get a splinter, you also get back a little bit of mana. So you can use it to like harass people a little bit, like right here. I got back the splinter, got electrocute proc, and then we back away from her. We're using the Spirit Blossom skin, which is new, versus Spirit Blossom Ari. They even have a Spirit Blossom Evelyn, so, and set. There's, there's four Spirit Blossom champions this game. <laughs> um, but anyways, as you can see, I leveled up and I hit one splinter. So it gives you one, and then levels up give you five. Uh, and it's iteration of this, I need 40 splinters, 60, 80, and then 100 for my ultimate. And then also, if I get 120 splinters, which is a lot, dude. That's a lot of splinters. Um, you get 15% more AP. So that's something as well. Now, what they did was that they made it so... Your Q no longer gets bonus damage. That was the old version. Now, you get two charges of it, but they increase the cooldown to seven seconds. This used to be four. So Cinder Q, the thing that used to be extremely spammable, is now um, less spammable until you get the uh, 40 splinters. Now, it might seem like it's going to take a while to get these splinters, but... Um, if you reach level 9 without hitting anybody at all, that gives you 40. So no matter what at level 9, you will get your double orb. Um, and these are what is underneath my bar. I don't know if the enemy can see it, showing how many uh, orbs I have, but obviously I only can have one stack right now. Uh, your W is still just bonus true damage. Uh, that's how it was on live as well, so just something to think about. I do not have Ignite, but I mean... I would be able to chase her down if I was on live because my Q cooldown would be so short, but because it's so long, I actually do like these short trades instead of long ones. But we might be able to kill her. They also made some changes that I don't like as well, but... Just one auto. She's dead. Nice kill. Takedowns don't even give splinters, by the way, I think. No, actually, did I just get five? No, I think I, that was from leveling up. That was from leveling up. So, takedowns don't make it so you get more. It's actually all about... Uh, harassing. It, I think that their design philosophy is Syndra is a lane bully, so making it so now you get rewarded for doing bullying, uh, the splinter thing, that's what they're, they're trying to do, in my opinion. Uh, these are the runes that I'm taking this game. Uh, I think this is probably more standard when the new Syndra comes out, because... Now, you're going to go for combos of hitting multiple spells and then proc and electrocute and back off. No longer are you going for uh, those hit you over and over again with my Q on a 4 second cooldown and proccing Aerie and Comet. Because, once again, they increase the cooldown from 4 seconds to 7. It's way less spammable than before, so it might change your playstyle quite a bit. Um, but we're getting close to our first threshold and then we can finally use 2. Uh... Anyways, to continue going onwards with the splinter uh, changes, so once again, your W gets the true damage, same as live, 
Um, I think they gave it an AP ratio. I think that on live, it's just 15% no matter what. So now the more AP you get, the more true damage you deal with your W. Your E, which is your uh, stun and your knockback, they increase the spread range. So it's actually quite big uh, already without it being upgraded. And then it still increases the width again and slows people when you do it again. I think, oh my god, she leveled up. I don't think I can kill anymore now. That's unfortunate, man. I wish that, ah, Morgana died, so that gave her level 6. So my bad on that. I want to just try out the ultimate, see how much damage it does. They actually nerfed it quite a bit. The damage on Center Ultimate nerfed across the board, so it deals less damage. But now that we're uh, going over all of her splinter buffs, right? Or uh, the changes to empowered splintered abilities. So her E becomes massive. I'm talking, you'll see, it's huge. The the E width will be massive, and it slows people. So when you stun someone, they will be slowed afterwards. That didn't exist before. And then finally, her ultimate, which is you just pick up the orbs and throw it at them, no longer gives bonus range. Now, if you get 100 splinters, which is pretty damn far away, um, it executes people below... 15% uh, max HP. So, it's an execute. Um, it doesn't get buffed by AP or anything, but take it as you wish if it's strong or not. And then finally, if you get 120, you get 15% increased AP. So if you have like a death cap or something, yo, that's that's two multipli uh, multipliers, right? You get 15% plus death cap gives like 25% or something. 35%. So that's big. You can get a lot of AP if you make it to extreme late game, right? I have to be afraid of Ari, or I mean not Ari, uh, Evelyn. Evelyn's stealth is really annoying, so I don't know what that stun was. I can get a splinter here, though. I think I win this, dude. I'm just gonna ulti. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You, you know what? Never mind about the... Oh, okay. So we just got the splinter. So we have 40 now. Now we have two Qs. It's not instant. It's on a one second cooldown. But now, as you can see, you get two stacks of it. So. Quite a significant change, to be honest. You can see it's charging right now, right? I wouldn't know if this is necessarily a buff considered uh, compared to Live Syndra because Live Syndra is actually quite good. It's like your Q deals bonus damage to champions 25% more. So your Q hits really, really hard. Now I need to land two to maybe deal just as much, right? So who knows if this is actually like a nerf or a buff. Let's look for a stun here and then we can like follow up with our abilities. Look for a little bit of poke. We still need to be afraid of Evelyn. We last saw her topside. So don't want to uh, get caught out. By any means. I think that her build path is still pretty normal with uh, going for probably a Ludens. He definitely doesn't have mana issues. I only have lost chapter, and as you can see, I'm I'm like chilling. Like this is not really costing that much for me. And my ultimate's coming back up, so I can definitely look. This definitely means you can get more orbs down, right? Pretty fast. How your ultimate works, if you're completely new to Syndra, is the more orbs that are on the ground when you ultimate, it uh, deals more damage. So having two stacks or uh, two charges definitely means that you can get quite a few orbs on the ground pretty quick. There's a chance that I can maybe try to dive, possibly. Um, I don't know if Evelyn knows this or if she even has ultimate, but, um, if she does ulti, it does make her invulnerable. So if she actually could have maybe ulti to cancel my ult, all the orbs would just fizzle. It would just make it stop hitting her. So she maybe could have lived if she used ulti, possibly, but I have no idea if it was up or down. I was kind of banking on, uh, 
it just hopefully not being down or she doesn't know about it. Um, so I did make a Cinder video about like the E trick where you can use E and then Q. They removed that. The trick is gone. Uh, to explain what the trick used to be, basically you could use your stun and then an empower or just an orb on top of your stun as it's still going out, and it would create a delayed effect. That's like gone. But what they did do is make it so it's much easier to land stun if you use like QE. Uh, as you can see, it's very fast now. Beforehand, the Q would like have to get created first, so they tried to make it not mess up anymore because beforehand it really would. Oh, my orbs actually show on the ground. What the hell? I was like wondering what was on them. Oh my goodness, bro. You deal so much damage for Q. If you guys don't know, Evelyn Q, like Empowered, deals like 93% AP ratio. It's actually... No! I'm dead. Well, I honestly wasn't expecting that. <laughs> My for getting caught out like that. We're very close to having 60, which will increase our damage on our W. As you can see, it will increase the uh, uh, damage by 17% true damage. And that has an AP ratio, so the more AP we get, the stronger it gets, but it's it seems like it's pretty small. Like, I have 123 AP, and it increases it by... Almost 2%. It's like not that insane. But it's enough. Definitely enough. You can see the max damage if I get 4 orbs on the ground is 700. Quite a bit. Is this skankable? I do have level 2 boots, but I mean, sh sh there's a chance that she just runs. Yeah. Ah, dude, those are some juicy double buffs, though. I'm gonna pop ghost soon. I'm just going to ulti her. She should be dead here. I'm going to auto attack to get that red buff on him. I, look how long I have to wait for my abilities, though. I tried doing the trick as if it was old Syndra and it doesn't work anymore. Damn it, dude. <laughs> you cannot do... So basically, what I just did, right? I did stun into Q. That actually would make that orb stun and get tossed away uh you can't do it anymore they did not fix the w kind of so the w still does it so if you want to know what it looked like it's like this w then or sorry you need to use e and then and then w i'll show you an example of what it's supposed to look like just so you know but yeah they they tried to make it so it does uh feel a little bit better using your stun how it's meant to be used rather than the trick but basically, I use stun, then W. You know, they, they really did fix it. That's supposed to be tossing it out, and it stuns delayed, but as I said before, I mean, really made some changes to it. I got a splinter here. I hit her with two abilities. We're getting up there. We need 80 splinters, so it's just increments of 20, so 20, 40, right? Or no, it's 40, 60, 80, 100. Never mind, it starts at 40. Stun. Look for a nice hit on her. If I had my ultimate, I could just kill with just pressing ulti here, but maybe she'll run back towards me. No, she will not. I'm almost level 11. My ultimate gets, like, quite a big increase in damage. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Sorry about that. Your ultimate, when you level it up, gives you ability haste only on your Q. So it lowers your Q cooldown, aka the refresh rate of your orbs, by 10% each rank. So level 1, 10, level 20, or level 2 is 20, and level 3 is 30. Ability haste. Only on Q, not your, all of your kit. Oh man, I should have really landed that Q there. But my goodness, dude, it's becoming quite spammable now. I don't know if it's actually more spammable than Live Syndra, but it feels like it is at times. I feel like if I land the stun, if I wasn't bad, <laughs> I could easily kill her, but... She should die here to my orbs. Even though I die, I, I knew that. Um, being level 11 and her being level 9 at the time, I think before her death, 
uh, level 2 ulti deals quite a bit. As you can see, if I have 4 orbs on the ground, it does 1,000 damage. I didn't have 4 orbs, I only had 2, but it probably still did like 800. <laughs> still did a ridiculous amount. That's the thing about Syndra. She has crazy high single target damage. The reason why Syndra isn't played as much as other champions mid lane right now and why she's in a bad state is uh, because she has very little self peel. And also there's a lot of champions where they just completely counter her ultimate. As an example, like Fizz E uh, fizzles her ultimate and Zhonya's Hourglass fizzles her ultimate. Um... And also, whenever you do use your ultimate and you didn't kill somebody, sometimes it's kind of awkward and you don't have anything left. So, what that missed? Damn, dude, I suck. I should have landed that stun there. Wow, my ultimate feels like it's on a lower cooldown, but I don't think it is. I don't think they changed it. Let's put down some orbs here. Look for a stun. Hit her again. Look for another orb. What? I missed that orb? She should have died there. You know what? That was embarrassing, but I'll take it, dude. They kited me to shit. Me getting hit by that Swainy, honestly, was the whole entire reason that went so bad. All I wanted to do was just hit the Caitlyn with one ultimate, but she did a decent job. I mean, she had Gale Force as well. I thought it was going to be easier said than done, so... I didn't really respect dodging their abilities how I should have. Okay, we have 80... Uh, splinters now, as you can see. Now you get to see the increased size of my E. It is <laughs> crazy big. This is the this new size of her E. If you've never seen Cinder before, you probably are not that impressed. If for Cinder players, it's it's huge. It's it's massive. They really increased it quite a bit. I still think W max second would have been the play. I think I screwed up. I don't know why I'm maxing E. Does E get lower cooldown? It doesn't. Yeah, I, I really messed up. For some reason, like, I'm used to maxing E on live. I don't know why. So, my bad on leveling up the incorrect ability. I definitely think W max second because you're basically forced to uh, have W change, right? Definitely go for that. How did my Q land there? What the hell? Let's just put some orbs down, you know? If I land a stun, she is so dead. If I have a bunch of orbs on the ground, I, I will deal a crap ton of damage. Where the hell was that? Okay, well, I mean, they're just sending everybody mid. I need to be careful about getting dove, but if I have a few orbs on the ground, there's a chance that I can, like, just... Okay, that would have killed that guy, but sadly he flashed. I'm gonna kill the Evelyn here with my ultimate. This is a support swing, but I mean, he's pretty strong. I just stunned him. My Varus got exhausted, though. I need to be careful about overextending. Oh, she gale force towards me. Just stun them. Get a little bit of poke off. Wow, she got really scared that I guess I was going to ult here. I don't I don't have my ultimate. Let's just shove this out. Dragons up in 2 minutes. I have a big purchase here cuz no, oh, I missed the cannon. That gives me one splinter too. We almost have 100 though and then we get the execute. I honestly think that's like going to make up for them nerfing the damage on the ultimate. So Pretty excited about getting that soon. Okay, let's start putting points into our W. This should be dealing way more damage, but it doesn't. Because I unfortunately put points into this. Yeah, and lower cooldown too. Thank you for the blue.
See you later, dude. Just syndra in here. If you get hit by a stun and I see around the corner, I'm going to be able to probably one-shot you. There's one Q here. Just a little bit of poke damage to him. Oh, wait. He might even die. Just wait for the Zanyas. Put down my Q and W straight on top of his face so he can't even escape it. And we now have the Execute on our ability. We could try doing Baron and try to turn. That would be a good play. We definitely shouldn't be, like, fully committing. Because Evelyn... You never want to do Baron when the jungler is up. That is really good at stealing. Oh my god, our teammate is getting absolutely blasted by this. You know what? I think we should leave, guys. This is not the play. That I thought it was. I don't know why Baron was doing so much damage there. Let's back off, by the way, as well. Oh, wait. If she get Oh, she doesn't have ultimate, actually. Okay. Got flash. That's pretty big. My teammate also didn't die to the... Oh, you're dead. Man, we're really committing hard here, huh? Wow, that person flashed. So, she no longer has flash. I really wanted to just do the dragon rather than Baron, but now it's going to be really hard. I think that we just have to give... Varus also went topside here, so... Um, this could be really hard to contest. I honestly think that we can fight, though. It doesn't show Execute damage, which is kind of dumb, like Cho'Gath, you know, or Pike. It shows Execute on them, where uh, the bar will show you when it would kill. It doesn't show for Syndra. It's kind of lame. I don't really understand that decision. What? I don't want to flash for you, dude. I'll flash. Screw it. Okay. You're going to use Flash as well? It's whatever, man. I wonder if Eve is going to go for me. I did just use an important sum, so... I want to not ulti the already dead target. I'm, like, trying to hold on to it for other people. Hecarim has ultimate. Let's just use ultimate to put our orbs down and then stun her. Never mind, she's gone. I guess my <laughs> just ultimate deals way too much damage. There's no way to survive it. I, I want to go for death cap because, as you can see, we're basically at our stack for the increased AP. So it sounds really cool to have two AP multipliers to just get as much as possible. And we're pretty close. Death cap is really expensive. It's like a 3600 but we only need 500 gold. If Evelyn, for some reason, chased this Hecarim, there's a possibility that she's invisible in nearby this area. So I'm going to leave because I would easily die to evil tier. Let's just back off. I will say that, like, not having the increased range on your ultimate uh, does suck. Like... You, you are very short range. Like, this is barely any range at all. It's awkward hitting people with your Q, and then you can't even follow up with ulti because they're just too far away. That's one thing that, uh... I liked about live Syndra. When you finally had level 3 ultimate, you could just ulti from far away. Okay, I hope you don't mind. I'm playing with viewers, so... They understand I'm just trying to hopefully get enough gold for this. Alright, this is a huge purchase. We don't have our stacks though, which kind of sucks. We still need five more. But I'm almost uh, going to level up, and leveling up does give five splinters. 
So we have 490, remember that number. And let's see how much we get when we get our next uh, splinter stack. Okay, Evelyn did use ultimate, so that's down. It's good to like uh, start thinking about game-changing ultimates, like Eve not having it. Man, if I could just ulti this guy, he's dead. With that many orbs on the ground, I'm pretty sure he can't survive. This Ari cell is ult, by the way. That guy is just dead. There's no way to survive that. I'm just going to toss this guy away. I'm not wanting him to be near me. I have Ghost because I wanted to go for kiting. I, I like kiting on mages like Syndra, so that's what I wanted to do. Okay, and it increased our AP by like 50. We, we do have it, so... Not bad. Your E range is just so short. When I'm looking for these stuns, it just never lands. There's a chance she went for Gromp, which is why I'm trying to stand in Fog of War, so when she goes for Gromp, I can look. Not backing there. Can't find her. I tried. Alright, so we're basically at maximum power. I mean, level 16 ulti obviously will deal more damage, but all of our abilities are now buffed. Can't get any stronger in that sense. Our W deals a bonus 25% true damage. As you can see, it hits pretty damn hard now. Uh, our teammates just died, so I don't know how easily contestable this might be. I'm going to go for a stopwatch because stopwatch is pretty good versus their team comp, except for Kate. If you ever stopwatch in front of Caitlyn, you know, she's just going to put down trap underneath you, just like that, and just immediately kill you. Camille's popping off. It would be so good if she kills before she dies. Nice. Okay, she's probably dead, but the thing is that me and Hecarim are coming in to maybe save it afterwards, possibly. Let's just ulti. That did nothing! Okay, I thought that maybe, for some reason, it would deal more damage than necessary to, like... Whoa, dude, I'm actually kind of chunking this guy. Hmm... I'm gonna flash away from her. Ferris is back alive, but now I'm super low, so kind of an awkward situation because of mainly Eve. Normally Eve can uh, show up in EU, which is like a point and click ability before I can even reaction speed it if you're low enough, so I don't even have counterplay, so I'd rather just heal up and hopefully get back onto the map. I am way higher level than most people. My ultimate deals 2000 damage. Almost. If I have four orbs on the ground once again. Matters on orbs. Nah, this is not something we should let them take the it takes them a while to get it. The set was low. Or the set was dead, sorry. The set had a death timer of like five seconds or something. Man, now it's going to be impossible to, like, stop them from coming in. I killed two, but I'm going to die here. I, I did a really good job at, like, uh, killing Swain instantly, and then also killing Kate, because I hit W, which does 600 plus bonus true damage. You can see it actually does. It tells you the amount, which is really cool. 140 true damage. I think Varus got insta-killed. Uh, unfortunately, the Hecarim got 1v1 by Kate. If he killed Caitlyn, I think we would have won the fight. I mean, one of the worst parts is Caitlyn hits me one time. It deals like half my HP. I did have Zhonya's, though. I don't know why I didn't use it. I guess I was too focused on thinking that maybe I can like get a stun off on Ari because she used everything right in front of my face. I was like, oh wait, maybe... Or did I...
I didn't use Zhonya's, did I? When you use a stopwatch and then you buy Zhonya's, it refreshes the cooldown, so it says it's off cooldown. I don't even remember. Oh man, I have short-term memory loss. This is not good. I'm still shocked by her E. <laughs> it's so big, dude. So damn big. If this game lasts long enough, we only need one more item to definitely deal 2,000 damage. At least have the tooltip say it deals 2,000. I don't know if it will actually deal 2,000, because it's not easy to get the orbs. Uh, the range, bro. The range is so bad. I knew I was going to die to Eve. It was, like, inevitable. By the way, if, if you were wondering why I didn't uh, stopwatch, I would die anyways. Because when you stopwatch, Caitlyn puts a trap underneath you, and then you can't move and you get one shot. I was hoping to maybe, like, land a random stun, because she was playing pretty close, so it looked like she was barely in range of it. So that's what I was going for, but obviously it, it missed, and I died for it. Let's just stay grouped with Morgana. Morgana is one of the things that are good versus Eve, because she can just throw down her spell shield when they go for one-shots on you. Here comes Hector. I'm trying to kill the Kate. Can he do it? Can he manage it? Runs away. Isn't this guy support? Dude, he's split pushing. <laughs> oh my god. This guy... This guy's a menace. This split pushing Swain god. Our AD carry just cannot even handle the support. He's just too strong. I can barely handle the support, to be honest. Just kill this guy. This guy should definitely die here. This is not legal. Oh no. He's actually out. The Hectorum got cut off. How does that not land, bro? Oh my god. Did they nerf the, like, range of my stun? It feels like it actually has no distance. Gotta make sure, like, no Swain's here. Oh, wow, I didn't kill her. Well, she's gonna live. There's no way to chase that down. My ultimate only did 800 damage. I mean, I didn't have many orbs on the ground, so maybe that was a problem. I did land my stun for once, though, so that's good. My goodness, it feels so short for some reason. She actually didn't have magic resist either. Which is more surprising. Now she can live. My W deals so much. It deals more damage than your Q. You definitely need to land it. I mean, we've seen how much damage it does when I, like, land it on, um, 8. Like, it's a ridiculous amount. Uh, there's definitely Evelyn here. Somewhere. I'm actually running out of mana, so I should probably base... My W mana cost is actually quite high, huh? Please don't die when I base. Do I want to go Void Staff? I think I do. Void Staff is pretty cost effective even when people don't have magic resist. No, you're gonna die. Damn, dude. Although... Nice. Honestly, I'm really happy with Kate dying because I think that she's one of the biggest threats on their team. Did we see Evelyn use ult? I don't think so. Right? Oh, there's another dragon coming up. Fight it, because this is their soul. I thought you mad. I want that Evelyn dead, because she's the person who has... Okay, I got that guy's ultimate out. Hopefully Hecarim can rotate. Evelyn being dead is big, because she's the one who has smite. I wanted it to make it so if they start it, I have a chance at healing, because I do a lot of burst damage, so I want no opportunity at Eve being able to steal. Nice damage.
Thank you for smiting that. I almost have my ultimate back up. This set is so tanky. This guy should die. I don't need to use ulti because Camille's here. Nice, well played. We might be able to end. If we can hit one thing on... Oh, I'm gonna just get this guy off of me with my ult plus stun. What? Where did my team go? Bro, you both got one shot. I don't know why I thought Kate was alive and not the Eve. If it was a game end angle, I thought. Honestly, it feels really, really, really difficult to kill Set. I just don't feel enough damage. Like, if I was playing Victor, I think it would feel better. I thought I DC'd because he stopped moving. <laughs> that was... Like, we're almost full build, but yet it feels like the Set, who is a little bit weaker than me... I mean, he's level 18, though. My consistent damage feels terrible. That's, that's all I gotta say. But I am using my ulti probably pretty bad versus set at least. That one time that I used it against his massive shield, I thought maybe it could break through because of the amount of damage it deals, but it's not even close. AP count? I mean, you don't gain bonus AP. Hmm? I mean, you get the bonus AP, but it's, it's actually kind of small. Not that much. 15%, not like 30 Ah, uh, Void Staff is so important to kill this set because he has a little bit of MR. Okay, I'm level 18 now. Even Swain is hard to kill, right? Even Swain, dude. Oh no. She might be dead, but our Camille's really, really strong. She is. Might be able to look for a pick, though. Should die here. Good. The reason why I want to look for a pick is because Eve was bought, so we should have numbers advantage topside because their Eve isn't here, so... What? Oh, surprised I missed. Oh no, is my teammate dead? Oh, it's false shield. He's still pushing, which is like annoying me because I, I want to stop her. Let's grab my orb. No, dude, I'm gonna die before I can even get my ultimate off. Not enough. I just want Kate to be dead though, thank god, okay. Jesus Christ, that guy did so much damage. Anyways, I'm happy now because I have Void Staff though. So I can actually deal damage to set, plus I can buy Blue Pot too. Increase our AP even further. I think it, this tiny, tiny purchase of Void is going to make it way easier to kill him. God, Camille damage. She's full build, literally can't get stronger. Probably dealing like 1,000 true damage every single time she presses Kia. Wayne is 1v1ing hack. Dragon's coming up. 26 seconds. I'll be up for it. Uh, Varus won't. Swain won't. Set won't. We have more people than them. She should base and TP back. Jeez. 
I don't care if you don't have smite, we start it. The reason why we start it is because they have less players than us. Okay, we should have TP'd in, because that would have been better if she just TP'd on that ward, but it's okay. Need to start it. Continue doing it. I got a big stun. Oh, I just used my W, so now I don't have anything to get her. I could probably just leave. Or try to. I don't know if I can. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. I'll have Ghost next fight. We got the dragon. I'm happy about it. <laughs> this game's so long. 41 minutes. She, We got her GA, so she won't have that anymore. She she should sell her GA and probably buy a Maw, just to make it so I can't one-tap her. Or, it's harder to one-tap her. Just stun that guy, run back. There's no reason to continue fighting. I mean, we can do a little bit of, like... I don't want to burn flash for this guy, dude. Like, even if I kill him... Mm, maybe could have done Baron, but the thing is that, like... I don't feel like we're prepped for it. Ice flash, though. Goodbye, blue buff. Holy shit, I deal so much damage, Baron. Okay, this could be a 50-50 moment, so I'll just try to be the smite. Because I feel like I deal more damage than smite at this point, as you can see. My W deals like 1.1k plus true damage and not just magic, so... Be careful at walking back mid, because you might accidentally walk into people. Uh, because they had mid priority, so... That happens. This could end up really bad if we continue pressuring like this. Hit set for a little bit of damage. You know what? What if I just got a bunch of orbs ready and then just immediately flashed on Kate? I wonder. There's an arrow showing where people are, or the Evelyn is, so I just threw my stun near that spot because I figured maybe it could land on her. The most annoying thing is just Kate is unable to get stunned. Oh, I stunned her. Oh, we got, got Bind too. This should just be a one fight. Uh, hello, dude. Like, oh, he ultied me. I was hoping to get away from his auto attack. That was the main thing. Just auto him. You win, though. Just auto him. Uh, maybe Camille cleans up? Maybe? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay. Nice. Good Camille cleanup. Yeah, that was pretty, uh... <laughs> That was pretty cool. <laughs> 2,100 damage. It's like my entire HP bar. Well, one more dragon, guys. 50 second. Uh... So, because this is coming up and Ari is actually dead for 10 seconds lo longer, 
we should get it because it'll be 4v5. We all respawn before the dragon spawns. Um, so no Ari is pretty important for them. It's one less member. It's a good member too. This game is so long. All right, so set used flash on me that I saw. So he no longer can flash W me because that's what happened. He got really low and uh, got that haymaker on me. But he can no longer do that. Ekram just... All right. Start it immediately. Start it. It doesn't matter if they come, we just turn and fight. The only thing that matters is maybe Evelyn steal. That is literally it. But I burst it. Once again, I'll just be the smite. Because of how much damage I deal. Nice. Huge play. My stun almost tapped him. I thought he was going to go for the blast gun, but he didn't. I'm dead. She killed me without ultimate, though, by the way. <laughs> she killed me with only QE. Maybe a Banshee's Veil is good this game. Possibly. It could be game over, to be honest. M maybe. I had a feeling Evelyn was somewhere nearby, but she was in this brush, which means that I can't have line of vision, too, so I think I saw it way too late. Man, I could literally sell my Sorks for Banshees if I wanted to. It actually could be a huge purchase versus Eve, because uh, it reduces her damage by quite a bit, I think. So uh, let's just go for it, dude. I have no boots. Very, very slow. But I definitely deal damage. I have 1,000 AP. Deal damage versus squishy members, maybe not the, the set. The 5,000 HP set. Oh, this could be a kill. Ferris ulti, go. Big? Nice. Huge play. This game's gonna continue for a while, huh? What is the charge rate? It says 3.74. Oh man, Kate killed him again. Damn it, dude. Oh, I actually stopped her base. That's funny. If I had movement speed, maybe I could even catch her, but I... I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm slugging. Slugging along. Alright, our really, really fed Camille is dead. I I don't have anything to do besides maybe, like, if we wanted, like, brush camp somewhere, really. There are multiple people dead, so just sit here, please. What? Uh, too bad she didn't get binding off on that guy that I stunned. That would have been pretty sick. Also, my stun felt delayed for some reason. I don't know why, but it felt very, very, very delayed. Maybe that's how the new Q is. Like, if I use QE, it's, uh, as I said, the EQ trick doesn't work anymore, but this works. Yeah, the stun goes off really fast now. I almost have my Banshees. I don't know if they're going to continue shoving mid. Oh, see you later, dude. I'm sorry that I used my ultimate on an already dead target, but I just was worried that somehow she would get out of that bind for some reason and live. Anyways, my ultimate's on a low cooldown. It's only 50 seconds anyway, so... It doesn't really matter, right? She just Gale Forced at me and ultied me? We definitely stick around for this. No, help me, bro. Oh, oh, that's game over. Well, GG. We tried our best to carry with new Syndra. I guess it's just 
I'm just not good enough at it. Yeah, she instantly, instantly died there. As, as soon as she got out of GA. I even landed a good stun on Ari too, which was the disappointing thing. But during extreme late game, when everybody has these items, it's way harder. Oh, he kills her. Just needs to land E. Oh man, GG. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the 50 minute game of New Syndra. Hopefully it was educational for what they changed. And yeah, uh, was a nice try. Oh, they knew who I was. Maybe that's why they were like, Maybe they were trying a bit harder if they knew who I was. Maybe. So anyways, hopefully you guys once again enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the 50 minute game of Cinder, be sure to give me a like on the video. And I will see you guys in the next commentary. Almost did 100k damage, pretty close. So see you guys next time. Bye. Have a good day.